everybody. I'm here to give you a review on the brand new Everlast um, Elite Training Gloves and the new Hydro Strike bag that they put out. So they contacted me and asked me to do a review and they sent me these great products. So I'm gonna just talk to you about the pros and cons that I found. Um, first with the gloves, um, I really like the gloves. I like the length of the gloves. I do like gloves that are a little longer. And uh, like to compare to the Hayabusa that I reviewed the one time, you can see that the Hayabusa is a little shorter. Now the, the only reason I like this is because these gloves, training gloves, you can kind of use for everything. You can use them for sparring too. And because there is a, um, it's longer, you see how far down it comes, as opposed to the Hayabusa glove. It doesn't come down as far. When you're sparring, a lot of times you block with your forearms, you know, if I'm fighting and I block a big hook, I'm blocking like this, having the extra padding here will help a lot when blocking punches, blocking kicks, you know, anything like that. So if you're gonna use them for a sparring or just like a partner drill, these are the better gloves to have, the longer gloves. But um, the new Elite Training gloves, I don't know if you can see it well in the video, but they have like an extra padding here. They have like a little design and there's an extra padding here on the gloves, which helps with the absorption of those punches and you know, kicks or whatever. So I really like it about these gloves. Um, I also like this new, you know, Back in the day, I mean, when I started fighting, this is like the Maximum May gloves. You see this, this loop here. This is how a lot of gloves were when I first started boxing, this was years ago. A lot of gloves were like this, which is good because it helps keep tight. It's a good way to keep the glove, you know, tight around your wrist, but a lot of times it's just kind of annoying to strap on. These, you know, when I put on the one side, it's, uh, it's easy to put on for the one side, but if you have a glove, you can, use your teeth to put it on, which is usually what you end up doing with those anyway, with the longer ones. But because the strap is so much shorter, it's easier to like use your teeth and just strap it. You don't have to go all the way around and then do it. It's kind of annoying when you have another glove on trying to put your gloves on. So that's the only other thing. One thing I will say, most gloves, uh, you know, for the most part, training gloves or any like higher end type gloves, they're very stiff when you first get them. They're very tight. And that's because you got to break them in a little bit. So. These are ones that are, you, you know, when you first get them, you might think, oh, they're really tight and stiff. I've actually used them a couple of times now and they're already starting to break in a lot, so they're a lot more comfortable. But the first time you put them on, they feel very stiff, meaning it's, it's hard to make a fist. You know, it feels very tight around your hand. But the more you use it, the more you're, it starts kind of forming to your hand and it becomes a lot more comfortable. Um, one thing that uh, I will say is the inside, I like the padding that they have in here. It's very nice and uh, it, it's, it actually absorbs the sweat very nicely. A lot of gloves uh, that I've used in the past have like a different type of coating. For example, like the title, this is just a title, like a regular title glove is not very expensive, but the inside lining has like a leather, like a fake leather. Um, and when you're really sweaty and stuff, it takes a long time to dry, then it gets really nasty. They start to smell bad, you know, fairly quickly. So that's one thing that I will say, I do like when gloves have a little bit more of like a, this kind of padding because it dries better. And I think that's why they make it that way. It also feels very comfortable when you wear them. Um, I really don't have anything bad to say about these gloves, um, other than the fact that they're very stiff when you first get them. One thing I will say, I like that the gloves themselves are very like hard and stiff on the outside. Whereas a glove like the Hayabusa, you can see I kind of like, squish it, it's very like, it's kind of got more of like a foam, where this is a lot harder, I can't really do that. I do like gloves that are like this. Uh, the Max MMA gloves are like that a little bit. They do squish a little bit, but not as much. They're a little stiffer, I like that. Some of like the, the Tidal gloves, they're a little stiffer. I like gloves that are like that better just because I feel like they're a little more comfortable. But the one thing is a lot of gloves that are stiff outside, for example, the Tidal one, it's stiff, but it also doesn't have a lot of padding. Um, so it's kind of, it kind of just feels very really thin. So these gloves, you have to really make sure you wrap your hands. If you use a glove like this, a glove like this title one here, because it's, I mean, it's stiff, but it's very thin, the padding. It's not very comfortable hitting it without hand wraps. This is stiff, but the padding is very thick, as you can see, which is one of the reasons why I like the Hayabusa because the padding was very thick around the hand. It was very safe for your hands. The Maximum A is like that. It's thicker up at the top. It's thinner here, but it's thicker up at the top. So it has more protection for your knuckles. 
but this is just kind of like padded all the way around. This is a good glove to have if you're gonna use it to hit the bag, something like the Hydra Strike here. Um, it's also a very good glove to have. So I do like these gloves. I really don't have anything bad to say about them. Um, yeah, I mean, they're good gloves. The only other thing, like I said, is it take a little, you might have to take a little while to break in. I use them a lot. That's why they broke in quickly. If you don't box consistently, they might take a little longer to break in. So now I'm gonna to talk to you about the Hydra Strike bag. So with the Hydra Strike bag, um, from the pictures, I actually thought it was gonna be like a little squishier, I guess, because this is a water bag. I don't know if you can hear it, but it came with this chain here attached. If you can see at the top, it came with this whole chain set up here. Um, the top here is like a very hard plastic. So this, this uh, lock here is not gonna come out anytime soon. The entire bag is made out of a very thick rubber. So, you know, a normal water bag, something like a Maxim MMA bag, it's filled with water, but it's a little like, I don't know how to explain It's kind of just like squishier. Like I could hit it and it looks just nice. This bag, when I first filled it up, you know, I didn't realize how thick this rubber was. So if I were to hit this with just my hands, it kind of like hurts. You can't really hit this hard. Whereas if I use like a Maxima May bag that's filled with water, I can really hit it hard without anything. And it's got a nice little, little pop to it. Whereas this doesn't. And I mean, I think that's for a reason they made it this way because if you can see, it's all just one piece. Um, something like another water bag usually has like a, an, an outside layer and there's like a bladder inside that you fill with water and then the outside casing is usually like a, a leather or a, synthet or a synthetic leather. Whereas this is just one big piece all connected together, one big rubber piece. So this thing, I don't think is gonna break anytime soon. Some water bags over time, the inside lining of the bladder with all the damage that it takes will crack and pop and usually water bags will come with like some type of repair kit because they do eventually kind of break down. I don't think this thing is ever gonna break down. Um, the only thing I will say, I thought it was gonna be a little bigger in the picture. I thought it was gonna be like longer. Um, this is actually more like an uppercut bag or a body shot bag that you would use. Um, I'm sure you've seen, you know, if you haven't, usually they look more like a ball as opposed to this is the teardrop shape that they came up with. It's usually more of a ball hanging from a chain that swings. And the one thing that's really good about it is you can see where I have it set up. This is actually correct for me. I'm a shorter guy, so this is a good size for me. Ideally, you want to because I want to be able to throw uppercuts kind of like to the bag here. So this is the correct height. And also with these kind of bags, you get a little more fancy, you know, when you're punching, they'll move and they'll kind of, you can duck under it, that kind of stuff. I'll put up a clip in the video of me kind of playing around with it where you can see where I do that kind of stuff but um, that's what they're for. They're, they're usually made to practice uppercuts. So this is a really good bag, but I have clients who are a lot taller than me and they use it and they love it because of the thick casing it has. The bag feels very heavy. The bag actually weighs, I want to say, up to 100 pounds when full. But, you know, when you're hitting this thing hard with the gloves, it is just a very, very thick, heavy bag. So it really works your shoulders. So if you're looking for, if you're a, you know, a fighter and you're looking for a bag, maybe, you know, like your know, fighters tend to go to the heavier bags, like the heavier leather bags that are maybe 140, 150 pounds, because it's gonna give them more work. You have to hit a lot harder with it. It's gonna, you know, uh, it really just helps develop your shoulder strength. This bag does that for you. Now, the only thing I will say is, this is not a bag that I would ever recommend to a beginner, one, because you, it's an uppercut bag. You're gonna to wanna to throw uppercuts and if you don't know how to throw uppercuts on this bag because it is so thick and heavy, you're gonna hurt your hand. You need to make sure you know how to punch, any punch for that matter, with this bag. Otherwise, you're gonna hurt your hand because it's so hard and dense. Um, the other thing is, even myself, using the new gloves that they have, which have great padding, this bag is very hard. So I had to, even with these gloves, I had to wrap my hands. I put the gloves on and was just hitting. And after a while, my hands start to hurt a little bit. So I had to wrap my hands and then it was fine. But if you're not wrapping your hands, if you don't wear any kind of maybe like a glove wrap, um, I wouldn't hit this bag, you know, without wrapping my hands first. And I would definitely never hit this bag or recommend this bag to a beginner who has never punched before and is just looking for a bag to use at home. I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, recommend it just because it, I feel like you need to know how to punch correctly and you know, you need to be aware that this is gonna be a bag that's really gonna work you. And if you've never boxed before, I'd recommend getting a lighter bag, it's easier to use. 
But overall, I love the new products. I think they're amazing. This is a great uppercut bag. I wouldn't only use this bag. I want a regular punching bag also because this is mostly, like I said, an uppercut bag. And if you're gonna use this bag to do like 10 rounds, you know, it's, it's better if you use another bag. This, this bag will really beat you up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, I love the products. Please check them out through Everlast. They're great. Thank them. Uh, thank you, Everlast, for sending us products to review for you. And we hope that you continue to do so. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. God bless.